Archbishop of Canterbury to marry Meghan and Harry, Justin Welby believed to have already agreed to conduct the service. The Archbishop of Canterbury is expected to marry Prince Harry and divorcee Meghan Markle. In an interview on Radio 4's Today program yesterday, Justin Welby declined to say whether he would officiate at the service, saying only that it was up to them. But it is believed that he has, in fact, already agreed to marry the couple in St. George's Chapel at Windsor Castle in May. Sources say the leader of the Church of England has even had initial discussions with the Queen's grandson and his bride-to-be about the ceremony and apparently found them delightful and totally committed to each other. It is believed that the Dean of Windsor, the right relevant David Connor, will also play a significant part in the service. But it will be Archbishop Welby who pronounces Harry, 33, and Meghan, 36 man and wife. He is also expected to sit down with the couple for Christian premarital counseling sessions in the run-up to their wedding. The fact that the senior bishop and principal leader of the Church of England is happy to marry a couple, one of whom is divorced, shows how much has changed both for the church and the royal family in recent years. The archbishop has long made it clear that he holds a liberal view on marriage, but his predecessor, Rowan Williams, refused to let Prince Charles and the then Camilla Parker Bowles marry in church. Instead, they had a civil ceremony at Windsor Guildhall in 2005, which the Queen declined to attend, followed by a blessing by him at St. George's Chapel. Both Kensington Palace and Lambeth Palace declined to comment on the Archbishop's role at the service last night.